this video, I'm going to show you how to design this tee from start to finish. It's called Easy NT. You'll learn about why it is and how to build it, every detail from scratch. And then you're going to also learn why I chose to do a T. And then we're going to build a mold. And here's the mold to build that part. So you can see all the details in there. You'll see how to design this mold to build this T. So that's what we're going to do. So let's let's get to it. Okay, I thought it best, it seems like, uh, at least from my experience, most people get stuck when they're trying to design a part because they can't actually make the part. Um, to my also experience, I've noticed that people don't take the time to learn a good cab package um, when they spend their time on the internet trying to find copies of stuff. But So I thought I'll spend the time and draw a part and hopefully... Um, I've already done two parts for this this video to make basically a simple part and a little more complex part and show you how, you, how to make tools for each one. And I'll do my best to do that in the simplest way as possible. Uh, so on this, this particular one, I'm going to make a golf tee. My boys all are golf freaks. Uh, and I love to play golf too, but I'm horrible at it. But Anyway, so I'm going to make a tee similar to one of these which is my favorite and mostly because I don't know I just like them um, and they're they don't break so I usually have one tee that lasts me for months and I don't have to worry about tees now one of my sons he's he thinks he's special he he likes wood tees but anyway my other sons like them so I thought I'd show you that and that'd be a pretty simple part to not only design but also make a tool and so you can learn the principles of how to do those. So we'll begin by starting how to make a tool for this T. So I'm going to go and create a part. So now in this case, it's only a single part. So there's no assembly involved. The second video, which actually I've already done the video. I, I, I do in that video a part that requires assembly. So it's an assembly of three parts. And so it... It teaches how to work in the assembly environment, which is really a must if you're going to do some serious designs in any kind of cat package. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to go and create a part. A new part. And again, I like doing my designs in metric if I can, just because, I don't know, I just like to do it that way. You can always do it in... Um, in inches if you like whichever you prefer and in this part because remember we're just making a little simple golf tee like this it's pretty simple so you and another thing you understand with CAD systems is they work on a what they call a, typically an ordered environment in other words you you build on you stack on top of each other each or a feature of each part and so you just start with like a an extrusion or a revolve or basic material so you gotta think like if you was gonna you know, cut out of a piece of steel is actually how you'd actually make a part if you can think of it that way anyway and so I will start this one in in solid edge you're able to actually work in two environments a synchronous environment and also a ordered environment and the synchronous is a 3d environment and maybe I'll do this video, I'll do it in both environments so you see how to do it because it's uh, Solid Edge has the ability to do synchronous and it's really cool. It's very helpful on parts too that you might import in and you need to make modifications. It, it's it's pretty cool. As a matter of fact, their sheet metal is, is really the best in the world, I think. There's some more advanced stuff out there, but anyway, it's pretty good. Anyway, so I'll, I'm going to go to order to do this one first. I'll teach you Word. And uh, so that brings up the order environment, which is if you have an extrude or an evolve. And a golf tee is pretty simple, so we'll use a revolve around an axis. So you grab a uh, plane and start to work. You can zoom in. 
So let's see, where is my plane? How come they didn't give me a plane? Oh, there it is, it's just slow. I forget my CAD system works a little slow when it has this video capture thing around it. So I'll zoom in, grab the zoom, and zoom in, and then I will start, start to call golf tee. I'll have this be the bottom of the golf tee, and then this will be the top. And so first we'll start like this, and just to be at basics. We'll go down like that and come in. So that's not the greatest golf tee, but it'll work. And then start throwing some dimensions. <clears throat> and we want this to be a three and a quarter inch golf tee. So, so 3.250 and then I'll throw inches on it. It goes in metric. And now there's, that's there. And our top of our girl team. And I'm just measuring these here with my calipers. So the top of it is, we'll call it 19.7 divided by 2. That's a diameter. All right, and then our, our barrel. So about 5.5 5. come on there we go and it's 5.5 5 divided by 2 all right now you notice it has a, a little goober there so we'll just we fix that. We'll do a trim on it just to get us closer for now. Or actually, we won't. What we'll do is we'll just grab a line here because really our golf tee has a little straight on it. And then it comes down. Come on. There we go. And so there's the like some messy lines you want to learn your trims there's a trim so just trim that so we'll come up here and we'll trim that one out of there all right and then it's still not quite right because it's really got and again you can measure it but I'm just give you an idea how it happens so we'll come down a little bit like that, and then it actually comes in like that. And then straight down. Now, so there's our, we look like a golf tee now. But typically this point looks like the point is about 10 millimeters so and again just getting dimensions off of whatever you're trying to do or, or making them up so it's 10 millimeters <clears throat> and there's another trim and it's a corner trim you can do it like that or I'm going to do that or you can do it like this you can sweep it like that and do it like that so so different ways you can do it Alright, and then we're going to make this, this would make it straight, so command to make that straight, so there it's straight. And really in little life it's not straight, so I'll, we'll fix that later, but we'll get our basics of a go. And this is 5.5 by 2, oops, didn't like that. 5.5 divided by 2. Okay, so there's a basic golf tee, and it looks like we need this dimension. So, so from here, it looks like it's about from here to here. 12.6, something like that. All right. 
there's our golf tee profile now it's not even close to being done yet but then there's the basic thing let's see there it is and then we need a access to revolve around so we grab the access right there and all CAD systems basically pretty much work the same like this I'm familiar with Solid Works and Solid Edge. The other ones I am not familiar with. A little bit familiar. All right, so there, there is our golf tee. That's missing the little concave section here. Um, we could do that several ways. You could go and use a revolve cutout and cut it out, or if you just go back in and put it in. Now, again, you have to keep into account when you're doing plastics is your thickness of your materials so the barrel is going to be thick and then uh, typically you could probably work with like a let's say if we're running this out of I, I think we'll run this out of high density polypropylene or copolymer a no break they call it and so that way it won't break when it gets whacked or with temperature so let's do an offset of, of um, let's go 45 Point zero, like almost fifty thousand. Point oh four five, so point oh four five inches, which is one point one four millimeters. And you can offset the whole chain here. See how it'll do offset up the whole chain. It's like click that it offset it, which is not what you want. But anyway, I give you an idea. It would offset that whole thing, that amount. We just want not a chain, but that section. So we'll go to single. We'll offset this one and this one. 1.45 so there's our guy right there right and then we'll trim this guy here there's that guy and we will see uh let's see what do we need we need another one here and see so just go across and then just do a trim like so so now it's looking more like a golf tee. Now this is a weak area, so we'll need to fix it, but I got an idea. We don't want to put a pile of material in there because it will shrink to use proper molding techniques, so I'll, I'll show you a way to fix that. And then we don't want this <coughs> to be sharp radius, so we could put radius in there, but I wouldn't do that here. I'll do it later on. So now we'll evolve it. Oops, it's failed, so where am I fail? See, it's failed, so where is our Failure. Let's see where it's failing. Oh, there is it there. It's not confined right there. Come on. Why isn't that working? Let's put it in over there. There we go. Alright, now it should evolve. There it goes. So there's our golf tee. All right. And the way we're going to mold this is this way. So we don't have to worry about draft on this big thick shaft. All right. <clears throat> and it'll probably shrink just a little bit, but in the golf tee, it'll be symmetric. So you probably won't even see it. Um, so let's go in and add our radius. So we've got a radius here. Here we can just look what we like. So let's go six. That's six millimeters on our radius. And I think more. <coughs> just go and modify that. And let's go ten. Let's see how that looks. I don't know, I think I want even a little more. We'd like that head to be nice and strong. So we'll go twelve. Oh. 15. Yeah, I like that. All right. All right. Now let's get a radius in here. Ooh, that's a bit much. Let's go. To, let's make it small. Not up here. Four. There we go. All right. So we got that. And then let's go and get this guy. We can form. There we go. And now, we sort of want our golf 
heat it to, to sit in there or ball because the circle will sit only on the edge so we'll give it some help and put a chamfer on there there we go let's, go. let's give yourself a little room to shut off one there we go so then let's add our radius on this guy let's look at there we go that's looking good all right, now to give us our T some strength in the top, it's still a little weak. We're gonna go in and add some material in here. And so we'll go in and do an offset off, off of a plane or a surface. So I grab that and I offset it up. And let's go something around the order of, I don't know, probably, let's say four millimeters. Let's see what that looks like. Doesn't look like enough, but we'll try that for now. So now we're on that surface above it, four millimeters. And we're going to add a rib in there. And we're going to make him the same thickness. Again, we want to keep our wall thickness the same. So I think it was 1.14 millimeters is what we use, right? And then we'll put that down in there. And then we'll shoot them down this way. So if you look in there, it's going to add that material. All right. So there's a rib. And that actually looks pretty good. All right. And then we would like to have a couple of those, right? So the easy way to do that is you can do a pattern feature. And so we'll, we'll grab that rib. We'll select it and grab that surface. All right? And it's a circular pattern is what we want. So we'll grab that circular pattern and we'll come out to here go that way. And then right now, this pattern has set up for four. Let's do an odd number. Let's do five. See what that looks like. So there's five ribs in there. Now that would be pretty strong, but I think that's a little overkill. But that being said, we need draft in there to get that out of there. So let's do, let's go in before our pattern. We'll go back here and we'll, and we'll stop our, our ordered pair and we'll get rid of our thing and we'll add some draft in this. And we're doing a shut off, so the more draft, the better. Let's see what whoops not that one. We want that one that one. Let's do three degrees. Let's see what that does to us. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. Now we have to remember again to flow into that little area. It'll be difficult based on our our material. And I can't remember, I'd have to look up what the high density polypropylene is. But I think that'll be a little too small, so let's all right, probably do it. We probably require a big press that we get in there, so let's help ourselves out. Let's make let's make this guy a little wider down here. Let's go two millimeters. Let's see what that does to us. It's a little too big. So let's go one point five. better there we go so now it has a little draft on it and then we'll go to our pattern and then we need to go to our pattern and change it to add our and put our draft in that pattern so right now only this feature is added to it now we'll add the draft to it also and then there we go next but it looks a little too busy so let's fix it so I think five is just too many so let's go let's go let's see what let's see what three looks like there we go that's good now these sharp corners in there are not 
friendly to tooling, so let's go ahead and add some radiuses in there. Let's see what the what crown. Let's do this way. So let's do these first. I think it'll be a lot better. There we go. That should work out a lot better. And then we got we want the edge of corner. We want to do the whole chain to help us do it quicker. There we go. Now it looks like it should. There, that's a lot better. So that means I'm milking it in there nice and neat. All right, now the next one, let's add some radius here just so we get these looking good. Yeah, there we go. So now we got us a nice looking. And just to make it even cooler looking, let's go down to small radius and let's clean up these guys. There we go. All right, there we go. All right. We could even, to make it sort of cool, we could even add some, I was trying to think, but it makes for tooling a little more difficult. We could go ahead and cut through there. So we won't do it. I don't think we need one. So we'll get that one for now. But there's our golf team. And we can make it a nice cool color. Let's go and make it so we have a. Let's see what color do we want. Let's make it orange. That's a little hard to see. My favorite for looking good to easy to see on the eyes is khaki. I love drawing parts in khaki. You can see all the details. All right, there's our Valti. Now, one thing I, I hate about <coughs> my Valti, so that looks pretty typical. So, so far we've made a good advancement in our Valti, like our own special one. But who wants to copy things? So I, I, we, we definitely haven't copied this as our own design. The bottom here is there is no innovation there. It's hard. These I found tees, the size are hard to get in the ground. So let's clean up the bottom here and see if we can't make our golf tee better. And um, so let's, what I want to do is knife it up, make it easier to put in the ground. So, let's Eisenstein us a nice tip on this baby. So, at least one the easy way it comes to mind for me is to, um, I think we can try, we can try a couple different ways. Let's try the easiest way that I can think of right now. So we'll go, and then let's put a cut on this surface. So on this plane right here, we're gonna work on that plane right there. And let's go in here and put a cut. And let's get ourselves like about that far. And we wanna keep some of our tip intact. So like that. And for funsies, we will mirror it. So we'll mirror that across, whoops. Kind of so grab our mirror command and mirror that across this axis. So then, and then we, let's put a dimension so we can actually change it as we on the fly to see how it works. Okay, let's go here to here. There we go. So there's an angle for us. And we're actually going to cut outside of it, not inside of it, right? Let's see if we 
And then let's go ahead and trim it to clear the end. Let's see what it gives us for. And so we're going to go outside of this. So now our trim is on the outside. Oh, this is on the outside, but it's running. Let's see, is that working? We want to trim both ways. So, darn it. So we need to get rid of our... That's exactly what we want, but we have to correct it so we don't get the top chopped off. So, let's grab this. Let's, let's leave it open. Alright, so now it doesn't know, so it'll ask us which way. So now we want... We want it outside. There we go. Perfect. All right. Well, that'll help us get better in the ground. See, it's nice and pointed more. But that's not exactly what I'm looking for. So, let's go ahead and knife it up. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is another. I'm going to use a draft. We'll go on this surface and make sure we get the right one here. Hard to see with this little tip, which is right here. Where is it, baby? So we want that plane there. And we want to grab that surface and that surface. And then we want to go with the option of splitting our draft there. And let's do it like, see what 15 degrees does both directions. We'll see what happens here. We go next and we're going to split it inside. So now, see how it's even more drafted in? And we want more. Let's go. Let's go 25 there and 25 here. Now we're talking. So now we've got ourselves sort of a knife blade to get our teeth easier in the ground. So now we've made an advancement into the golf tee world. We haven't copied anybody, and so oh, we noticed this. Darn, we're gonna have to. It's. I guess we can make our golf tee on a thing like that. That doesn't look very good, does it? So that means I gotta change our cut so it doesn't extend up because it's an open cut. So we gotta fix it, and we can fix it by doing this. This one there. Come on, there it is. So we've now broke or cut off, so this should fix it, I believe. Ta-da, there we go. So now we got our golf tee. So that's, that's the design. We completed our golf tee design. Our three and a quarter inch golf tee. And that's what... We're going to make a tool to make that part. And we could radius up these, but this looks cool. So we'll leave them nice and flat like that. And uh, this looks good, so we'll leave it that way. Okay, so now I'm going to make teach you how to make a tool to make this part. All right, so hope that's helpful to you. So I'll stop this video and I'll start the one to make a mold to make this guy hello thanks for watching my part three video on how to design a injection molded part you got to see me use the tools i use such as solid edge and my, on my surface pro 7 to design the part i hope you enjoyed that stay tuned for how to actually make the mold with that part and get some popcorn because you're get, it's it's a long one so but you'll learn everything you'll need to know how to make that mold if you like this kind of thing, hey, please, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, please post a comment or send me an email. I'll be glad to answer anything you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.